What is God wanting man to do? Preacher, are you saying that God wants man to die on the cross? No, he's done that. He needs a man to bear the cross, to take on his cross. He's not looking for you to die on the cross because you're not worthy of that. You're not holy enough for that. He needs a clean sacrificial lamb, and we're not clean, so we could not die on the cross, but he does need us to pick it up and bear the responsibilities of the cross. So pray tell, pray tell, what is it that we're to do in cross-bearing? What does God have in mind for man, for each to do? Ish, ish is, a, is the Hebrew word for, for man, is used for man usually, but it's also can be used for mankind. So what is God calling each being man, or each being mankind, humankind to do? Why, what is it God want each to do? Now, when you're on Facebook tomorrow, ish, you ain't talking about this, but, but this is, the text says, some of y'all call that and you, you know, just mess you up. Ezekiel 3, he points out what he needs man to do. You ready for this? It says, Ezekiel 3, verse 16. And at the end of seven days, the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. He said, you have a post, watchman on the wall. You need to be on the wall, first of all, but don't just occupy a position. There's some stuff to do on the wall. Some folk just want a position to stay on the wall. But God said, when you get to the wall, see, Mike, that, that, Mike there's a lot of brothers, they, 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 they got a position. You got a position by default because you are a man, you got the position. But please understand me that God just ain't called you to, to look. If you came to church, you look holy. Yeah. Come on. The text says, the text says, the text says that God says, it says, it says, here's, here's what he's going to do. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. Listen, Ish. If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked man his wicked way in order to save his life, that wicked person shall die for his iniquity, but his blood will we but his blood I will require at your hand. Uh-huh. You see, this is, this is a paradigm shift, shift for men. Because he's saying, if I tell you that someone is living foul and you don't warn them, yeah, they're going to die for iniquity, but I will require that blood from your hand. Uh-huh. See, come on. See, the, the, the guilt from their sin is on you. Why? Because you saw it and you said nothing. Uh-huh. You see, because what happens is as a man, we say as men, hey man, that ain't my business. It's your business if God showed you. 